Greetings from sunny Saint-Emilion. Today, we're gonna talk about fabrics. So we're gonna talk about the title of the fabric. Uh, the title of the fabric is its characteristics. Uh, usually, we talk about uh, a fabric, for example, here, um, 120 slash two. And this means that there is 120 meters of thread per gram of fabric. Uh, when it's a slash two or three or four, uh, it means that there are two threads. So in this case, we have two threads of 60 meters twisted together. Um, and for each gram, there is two times 60, so 120 meters of thread. The higher the title, the smoother, the softest, and the stronger the fabric. Um, the higher the title, and the more expensive usually the fabric. Uh, to give you an idea, ready-to-wear shirts um, usually are made with 80 to 100, uh, sometimes two ply, so two threads. Um, in our case, for Sherpa, we only use 120 two ply up uh, because it's higher quality fabrics. Um, so here we've displayed some poplin fabric. Poplin is the most common, I would say, known fabric. Um, it's used widely in uh, shirt making uh, because it's very versatile. Um, it's very silky. To uh, it's a very, it has a very silky. Uh, feel and it's very strong um, sometimes has a little sheen to it so here I've displayed different uh, fabrics so you can see we have you can you can do plain um, plain colors uh, stripes um, checked there's a lot of variety in, in the poplin uh, fabrics so I would say that Poplin fabric is used for everyday shirts. Uh, you can use them for everyday business uh, or casual shirts or just uh, an evening, evening with family or this kind of uh, occasions. Um, the only thing to be um, cautious with um, poplin is that it tends to wrinkle a little. So if you want to iron and have a really nice shirt that's made out of poplin, just iron the shirt when it's still a little damp. Okay, hang it on the, after you wash it, hang it on the hanger, and when it's still a little damp, you just iron it. This way, it's easy to get rid of the wrinkles. So the second fabric we're gonna talk about is twill. Um, twill is uh, easily recognizable because it has a diagonal uh, texture or weave. Um, it's a bit like poplin, it's very versatile. It's a bit more uh, crease resistant uh, and it's easier to iron. And that's why it's very nice to use for everyday business shots. Uh, you have less creases. It gives you a crisp look and a soft feel, just like poplin. Here we have a very soft, very delicate fabric, uh, but it's very strong. Um, it's Batista and it's usually used for summer shots. Um, it's very light and has a, a very small sheen to it, uh, a little transparent um, and it's very nice to wear during the summer because it's really, it's, it has a breathable um, weave so you can see the different colors so very light and pastel colors exceptional for, for summer shots a popular fabric is Oxford um, usually Oxford shirts um, have button-down colors, which is the casual 
Oxford shot. Um, Oxford fabric is uh, slightly rougher than other fabrics such as uh, poplin or twill, but it's very, very durable. Uh, it's heavier, so it's nice for cool days. So often Oxford fabric has a two-tone um, color appearance. Um, there is one thread that is white and one thread that is colored. Uh, all these fabrics, for example, have a white thread and a colored thread. Um, it's typical uh, for an uh, Oxford fabric to be two-tone. Oxford has many variances, um, such as Pinpoint Oxford, uh, Royal Oxford, and they all have a slight uh, difference in their um, colors or uh, texture or feel. And so right next to it, uh, we have what we call herringbone fabric. Uh, it's kind of a twill, so we talked about earlier, but it's mirrored and it gives this shape of a herringbone, the fish bone. Um, it creates a kind of chevron, um, a V-shaped look. Um, it's a fabric that drapes very well. It's easy to iron. Um, it's very smooth and it's a warmth texture. Um, and it has a very slight sheen to it. And easy to iron as well. And finally we have end-to-end uh, -end fabric, also called fil à fil in French. Um, it's a cousin to poplin fabric, but we use two different color threads, just like in the Oxford. Um, so it's often white, a white thread, and a, another color. Uh, it's a nice alteration to your standard poplin, and it makes very nice everyday business shirts. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot today and see you soon for our next video.